What's up guys, this is Gesture of None here and I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft dirt texture. So this is pretty simple. I know there are a lot of textures available online for this, but it's always good to make it yourself and it, it, you might learn something in the process. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do is pick a brownish color and fill in your background. You're not going to need any other layers for this, so don't worry about that. Next up you want to go on effects, add noise, and then pull up the intensity until it's pretty well covered. All you're doing is defining some color difference so that when you go on here, press distort and then pixelate, you can see uh, a difference in the uh, the pattern. Now, I mean, you can use this uh, as a dirt texture if you want, but it's not quite perfect. Firstly, um, I think the Minecraft dirt texture is a little bit darker than this. So you can go on a, a brightness and contrast and play with it until it's uh, it looks a little bit better to you. Uh, and, and if you're familiar with Minecraft, you can just stare at this and... Uh, wait until you see something that looks like uh, looks like home but if you're not you can just look at a picture it's not that hard to find I've gone with quite a small pixel size because um, well I mean why not if you want to use this for a higher higher texture stuff the next step to make this a little bit more minecraft like is to go in and select individual pixels Th these aren't actual pixels as, as you can see they're made up of smaller pixels but um, go in and select the individual minecraft pixel and make sure that your wand is set on global under low tolerance level. You can see these up here in the top side of the top left hand side. Make sure they're set on a small percentage, otherwise it'll select everything. And make sure it's set on global so that it selects every single kind of those pixels. Now we're just going to add the other details that are in the Minecraft dirt texture that aren't present here, which is that there is always a bit of dark grey in the Minecraft texture, which is their stones. Once you've done that, you can zoom out and see how it looks. If you still think there should be more, just go in select another texture uh, another pixel make sure you don't pick too many because um, these stones aren't everywhere in the Minecraft texture they're just in some places so go through and this looks like an appropriate one to put the gray texture on and there we go that's a nice gray texture for us stones I've picked a different pixel and I'm going to fill it in with brown and then this time I'm going to zoom out and start playing with this slider here which if you can't see this you just have your color your color selector here and you press more and then you can play with all of these different settings zoom out and uh, adjust this until it looks better until it looks absolutely spot on and I think there will do and then I'm going to keep doing this over and over until we have um, a texture that looks great now just to check we're going to get in a picture of a minecraft uh, a real minecraft texture and copy it in now just for the sake of comparison we're going to shrink it down to the right size if you hold shift as you drag this you can make sure that it, it only shrinks into portion okay that's lined up pretty well i mean uh, not along the bottom but so you can see that um the textures need to be a little bit lighter and we've gone with a very dark color if you want to just change things like that you can either go on uh, hue and saturation and adjust this well purple is not the one we want that's certainly a bit better and then saturation there you go that is the perfect color so as you can see there's a little bit too much color variation in our minecraft texture so we're going to go in select a pixel uh, maybe a few more than that anything that's um, a little bit dark make sure that the one you pick is one of the ones you actually want to remove and um, then you're gonna hit the paint bucket make sure the paint bucket set to 100% so that it'll cover everything and just reduce it so it's a little bit closer to the other images on there now looking at the texture in the top left hand corner the actual minecraft texture you can see uh, it's not there you can see the difference the one of the main problems that's left over here is that we have too much of the gray stone so what we're going to do is we're going to go in select just the gray stones and then turn them into normal brown pixels. Uh, you can see that the Minecraft texture just, just does not look right without those gray stones in there. There's just something missing. So what you're gonna do is keep clicking through until you find a pixel that is relatively rare, and then you're going to turn that gray. And this should be better. Yeah, that's much better. So now you can see there's not a huge disparity between the uh, Minecraft texture and our texture. So we'll delete this and you can leave it there there is a good minecraft texture it looks like dirt so if you want to make anything that requires a minecraft texture now you can make your own one and just as a little bonus i'm going to show you how to give it some dimensionality 
if you're trying to make a Minecraft block, this will help you out a lot. So you want to go up here to Layers and then Rotate Zoom. Now this tool will allow you to give it a bit of 3D dimensionality. Whatever way you want it to turn, just move this ball or alternatively play with these arrows and this will rotate it in whatever direction you'd like. Now you'll get this empty space here. Just to fix that, you just click tiling on and it will move your texture and recreate your texture wherever it want, you want it to be. Thanks very much guys. This has been Jester of None. If you enjoy my textures or would like any more, let me know in a comment. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much and see you next time. Oh, I guess I really lost that. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. Oh no. Okay, so I didn't successfully thread the needle there. I did thread the needle and I've got to stop using that phrase because it's starting to be meaningless. I did thread the needle and then um, behind the needle there was a lion and I threaded myself into that lion's mouth.